quantum computing really is at a stage where many people don't really understand what it's about. So if it came to just explaining the basics, where would you start um, and what would you say? Uh, first of all, quantum computing is, is a very, very strange and and maybe weird type of technology and then the red, because it relates to a rather interesting and fascinating uh, theory in physics called quantum mechanics and quantum theory and, and in quantum theory there's the, these very very counterintuitive uh, predictions uh, <clears throat> one of which is that you could be sitting on your chair right now and simultaneously be uh, at home all at the same time it's an object can be at two different places at the same time, a phenomenon called superposition. And, and so for many years, physicists trying to get their head around it and did experiments over and over trying to understand superposition. And, and over and over again, their experiments confirmed that indeed it's true. We, we can prepare individual atoms in, in the superposition state. There's other <clears throat> even stranger phenomena uh, in, in quantum physics, one of which is uh, referred to as entanglement. So an entanglement, uh, this is an extremely strange correlation. And it means that something you do right now, here where you are, may affect, affect instantaneously uh, an object, possibly the other end of the universe. So something you do uh, may affect an apple in America at the same time, but without information traveling between you and there. And, and, and so this is so strange and so mysterious, uh, uh, really kind of stuff out of Harry Potter, um, that's that Einstein uh, referred to as spooky. So he just couldn't believe that that would be right. And in fact, he proposed a lot of experiments trying to uh, uh, dig holes into this theory because he just felt it couldn't be right. But over, over, over the last 50 years, physicists did experiment after experiment after experiment and, and all over, and they confirmed the validity of this theory. The theory is correct. And, and, and so this maybe it was a starting point of scientists thinking about, can we tame these very strange phenomena to build entirely new technologies? That's what we refer to as quantum technologies. And, and, and one of these phenomena, uh, sorry, one of these technologies is, is computing. So you are able to build computers that can solve certain problems where even the fastest supercomputer might take billions of years to calculate. A quantum computer might be able to do this in a few hours. So this is why, why quantum computing is extremely disruptive technology and, and really affecting uh, numerous industry sectors from, from uh, the financial sector over to, to creating new pharmaceuticals uh, and then understanding chemical directions all, all the way to, to uh, cr creating fertilizer much more energy efficient. So two percent of the world's energy is being used in creating fertilizer. Quantum computer may hold the answer to to doing this with much less energy. So, so you can see there are very, very fascinating and interesting applications.